Good morning, welcome to Sand Pits. Now, I'm just going to light this stove this morning, but before we do, we're just going to remind ourselves that if we burn in smokeless fuel, the only way smokeless fuel can burn efficiently is through an open grate. And smokeless fuel that is probably best for the stoves are these larger ovals here, uh, rather than the smaller ones which is going to clog the grate up. But Smokeless fuel will always need air to come up from underneath to burn and all the stoves then will have some form of mechanism to riddle the grate to let the air keep coming up from underneath. And if you look at this stove here, we've got air control at the top and one at the bottom. This bottom one is for running for smokeless fuel, but when you light, you will need both open to get a lot of oxygen in there. Then close the top one down and control it underneath as opposed to wood, and this is the one I'm going to light this morning. Now wood burns just like a bonfire. So here we have a lovely bed of ash to retain the heat in there as it goes on. And this one we're going to light today. So you can use these fire lighters here, which is a standard fire lighter. I prefer to use some old scrunched up newspaper. And the newspaper you need to scrunch up, always have some loose ends to light, otherwise it'd be a very awkward thing to do if it's in a complete bundle. So we're just going to lay some newspaper in here. Find a little bit more for that one. So, nice dry paper of course, not one from the garage, it's picked up a lot of moisture. Loose edges at the front just to light. Perhaps one more in there. And then some nice kindling on the top. Again, nice dry kindling. And lay it on the top here so it's not a, a thick bed, but so the air can pass through. Too much to clog it up, but just enough to get the heat in there. And there we are. Now again, air controls fully open, top and bottom. And we're going to just like the edge of that newspaper as we go across. Slowly close the door and you'll see that the stove itself really takes care of itself. And we're going to wait until the fire is established before we put on some smaller logs. Both air controls top and bottom still fully open at the moment. But as it goes on, this time we need air to come from the very top, just like that bonfire air must come down, we don't want air to come up from underneath. So, start the stove off with perhaps some smaller logs, always split. And this time, that's starting to get a bit warm, so always wear a pair of gloves. Now it's picking up the heat. Now don't forget, if you're burning, there's three things that you must have. Lots of oxygen, good fuel to burn, and heat. A lot of people, when they first get a stove, forget that last thing. You really do need this hot. It's built for it, so don't be frightened to get it hot in there. Now once that's picked up, the door slowly and we can put on some smaller logs here. Close the door slowly again. And 
and the fire's establishing itself now, so we can perhaps close down slowly. Air coming from underneath, which we don't need any longer. Until we're just taking air from above, which is coming down the inside face of glass to feed the flames, air washing the glass to keep it clean as it does so. Now, in the early stages, don't disappear and leave the stove to look after itself. Keep an eye on what's happening in the stove because the air controls are fully open here at the moment, which may need to be closed down as the heat picks up. If you need any more information, always pop into the showroom here, Curry Rival, um, or phone through, and we'll demonstrate the stoves to you in the showroom. Well, my name's Richard here in the showroom. My colleagues here are always ready to help. Thank you very much.